Moments ago, the New York Times is reporting that uh, President Trump wanted uh, to order the U.S. Justice Department to prosecute Hillary Clinton and former FBI Director James Comey. Uh, let's bring in CNN's Laura Jarrett. She's over at the Justice Department. CNN's Kara Scannell is here with me. And Laura, let me just read uh, the first couple sentences of this New York Times article, which is explosive. Uh, the headline, Trump wanted to order Justice Department to prosecute Comey and Clinton. Uh, President Trump told the White House counsel in the spring of this year that he wanted to order the Justice Department to prosecute two of his political adversaries, his 2016 challenger Hillary Clinton and the former FBI director James Comey, according to two people familiar with the conversation. The article continues. The lawyer, that would be the White House lawyer, Don McGahn, rebuffed the president, saying he had no authority to order a prosecution. Mr. McGahn said that while he could request an investigation, that too could prompt accusations of abuse of power. To underscore his point, Mr. McGahn had White House lawyers write a memo for Mr. Trump warning that if he asked law enforcement to investigate his rivals, he could face a, a range of consequences, including possible impeachment. Laura, this is an explosive article we're getting, uh, and clearly they didn't go ahead, uh, and uh, the Justice Department didn't begin a, to prosecute uh, Hillary Clinton or James Comey, but this is pretty explosive right here. It's remarkable reporting, Wolf, and it's interesting that McGahn obviously saw the writing on the wall, saw how this could turn bad and fast, even resulting in possible impeachment. And so he had the lawyers in the White House counsel's office, according to this reporting, draft up a memo trying to outline for the president all of the different downsides of this. According to the reporting from Maggie Haberman and Michael Schmidt, it's not clear that the president actually read that memo, but it clearly McGahn tried to warn him of this. And it's also not clear whether, in fact, this ever was conveyed to the Justice Department through other channels. We know that uh, John Huber, a prosecutor out in Utah, has been looking at Hillary Clinton for some time. We know the inspector general over here at the Justice Department has also been looking at James Comey. And so we don't know whether he went around McGahn and found some other way to get this dirty work done. But it's, again, one of the most striking examples of how the president has tried to encroach slowly but surely on these traditional norms between the Justice Department and the White House. And I should also point out, Wolf, of course, we know that Don McGahn has spent quite a bit of time with the special counsel's office through their investigation into obstruction of justice. And so you can imagine this has come up. You can imagine that memo has been turned over. And just finally, Wolf, the other tidbit in here is his disappointment, apparently, with the FBI director, Christopher Wray. The reporting here is that he feels like Wray has been weak because he has declined to go after his political rivals, Wolf.